Okay. This is going to be another tutorial requested by person 701. I'm going to do it on how to create saved uh, save stations in other areas besides where they were originally at. So, I'm going to go ahead and open a ROM that's clean, just made. Gonna go just to the landing site here, and I'll probably use. Um, I believe that this save station, which accounts as the ship, is kind of glitchy, messing with it. So I'm not. Uh, I've seen some guides on doing it, but I've never done it before. How to move the ship and get it to work in different rooms and stuff. But I know that takes a little bit of hex editing, I believe. So I wouldn't even mess with that. But just moving the regular save stations, those are a little easier. So let's go and grab this first save station right here. First thing, a save station has a PLM right here. Just one. It's all you need for a save station. That goes right there. And it will have a high value. Um, this one's at zero. The text says 80. I've tried them either way, and I think they both worked. So I don't think that really matters. But the important thing is to see what this number is for the low, which is zero, 01, which is the index of the save point. So, just so it doesn't get confused, I don't think you have to do this at all, but I'm just going to go ahead and set this to 80 and then this to 0 and then set it to like one of these arrows. So we know that I'm not using that save point anymore. Save the room. And say we wanted to put a save uh, capsule in here. Just grab one of these PLMs. Type. Go down and find that, leave that at 80 and just put this to 1 because we have to keep it the same. Save. Okay. And then maybe we want somewhere to put it so it looks nice. Let's do some real quick here. I think they take two, right? Yeah. Do something like that. Just get rid of the grass stuff. And that one. Some more for it set. Okay. So we've got it kind of built into the ground. Now we have our uh, save PLM. Now we just got to draw our actual save capsule. And that. You will have to draw it down here too, I believe. Just like that. I think they're four. I don't remember. Oh, that looks good to me. Okay, so we have the save capsule drawn out. Everything's good. Now, in order for get to get this to work, you have to go to your edit area load stations. Go to our index that we're using for this particular one is one. The zero zeros for the ship. But like I said, that one's a bit more. Uh, confusing and such, and it can cause some errors trying to change that one around. Now, before we go into what we need to change these two, let's go over what it's for. Uh, the first thing is the region, which is kind of obvious. You choose whichever region re region it is in. In this case, criteria, so we'll leave it there. The room ID is going to be the room that it's located in. This is your door pointer. Uh, you're going to have to go to a room that connects to the room that has the save position or the save capsule in it. Then I'll show you what to do with that one. So don't worry about that one. The unknown most of the time stays a zero. Certain ones have a one, but really that's already set up for you most of the time, so I want you to mess with it. Your scroll X is where uh, your save station is located and what scroll block. You count it just like you do doors. Same thing with Y. I'll show you that in a second. And same as Y and same as X is um, where same as is going to be loaded. Now, I've never moved to save capsule before, but I think I got the idea down, so this is going to be an experiment just as I'm doing it here, so hopefully it all works like it's supposed to. So the first thing we needed to change is our room ID, which right now is 9F2D, I believe. You could just click this, use current room for last load point, change, done. This will change in a second, but these you need to change. Save this for right now and close. If it's at zero, 0, right now, you're going to use this scroll block right here, just like you would do a door. When you count the doors, your X would be 0, 1, 2, 3, Y, 0, 1, 2, and so on. So for this particular one, we're going to be using Y of 0, because we're not moving, moving down, and we're going to be using X, 0, 1, 
2. So x2. So we go back to that and go to our 0, 1 and change our x to 200. So that way it loads it in scroll block 2x 0y. Don't worry about the same as his movement for right now. I'll show you what will happen with that. But go ahead and save it. Done. Now we've got to find a room that connects to this room. We could use any of these doors. I'm just going to go ahead and use this door right here. This room connects to our save room. So once it loads, all you have to do is go over the door that would go into the room that has your save capsule and press L. It will bring up the load station screen again. Now you have to go to your index. Zero 01 and click this little button right here. It's going to change that door data so it's already set up for you. Save, done, that's it. Now, uh, one other thing. If you ever change, oh, this is kind of off topic, so, <laughs> but if you ever change the room, this particular room right here, where this door leads to, if you change this door to where it leads to a different room and it doesn't lead to that big room you're just at, your ship will no longer load correctly. The only easiest way to fix that is just what we did. You find the room that does connect to the landing site, any of the rooms, go into it from that door, so like if we were using this room instead, you go in and then use this door right here, press L and then use 00, zero for the ship and then click that button, save it, and it should fix your problem. Because that'll mess up a lot of people. They change all the rooms around when they're learning how to move doors, and then all of a sudden their ship isn't working, and then you might have thought you overwrote something, and all it is is it doesn't have the right door pointer. So, after doing all that, let's go ahead and test it to see if it works so far. So, we'll minimize all this. Um, and. Load that one. Um, you know what? Oh, I named it the same, so it's going to use the same SRM. Cool. All right. That's what it loaded us at right there. So if you notice, we never moved Samus's position. So that's why she's starting off the side. Started her in the right screen, though. The room works. Nothing messed up. We can leave. Go back in. And it does work. Saving. Now we just got to get it to load her correctly because it loads her over here. Now, never gotten this far, so let's see what we can do. So that was <laughs> our attempt at a save station tutorial. Hopefully that helped. If anybody has any ideas for some new tutorials, just go ahead and send me a PM or uh, an email. I think my email is on my channel or something. I don't know. <laughs> Otherwise, just leave a comment asking for something, and I'll do my best if I know how to do it. Uh, thanks.